Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a navbar with a dropdown. So as of now, we discuss a responsive navbar and navbar with a form. Okay, search box. And in this video, we are going to discuss a navbar which contains a dropdown. So let's see how to make a dropdown using Bootstrap. Okay, so let's start. So here, I have uh, taken the last class form navbar, this one. So I want to make a dropdown also here. So let's see how to do that. So I'll do the same copy of this navbar because why you make uh, again from the scratch. So uh, I will copy this file number 16. I will paste it. I'll change this to uh, 17 underscore bootstrap. Let's say uh, drop down navbar. Drop down navbar. Okay. So here. Let's make a drop down number. First, let me open the page, close it. Let me open file number 17. Okay, so I got a number, right? Previous number. So I want to make a drop down here. If you want to make a drop down, I will make another uh, link with a drop down. So, how to do that is below, I mean, the beside the services, very services here see there is a ul li services same like this i need another so, uh, called uh, courses so what i do is i will copy the services li i will paste it so i'll change this to courses so i got a courses now courses i don't need this icon uh, i'll change this to fe minus uh, some laptop yes courses and uh, but right side, I need to see the drop down icon. Okay, so after uh, courses, I need to see the drop down icon. So, how you do drop down icon is after courses, you write i tag. There's a class called fe minus fe minus uh, caret down. So, you will get caret down icon. So, when I click on this, I want to display a drop down. So, let's see how to write a drop down exactly below this anchor tag inside the li make sure uh, you can write a division with the class called drop down menu inside you can write some multiple anchor tags you can give some link ash and then i'll give the class called drop down uh, item and here i write let's take html let's check nothing has come which uh, drop down html let's make multiple let's do control d d for delhi for copy paste copy the previous line so here css and uh, javascript and also bootstrap okay fine now i have made an anchor tag and i have made a division with a drop down but still the drop down has not visible when i click on this it means you have not connected this link with your drop down how to give the connection is uh, for this anchor tag whichever uh, the link you are supposed to click on so for that one you can give data toggle drop down if i give this extra data toggle drop down so whenever you click on this anchor tag called courses this is going to be visible let's check if i click on this yes i got a drop down but one problem in this is when I click on this drop down has come. But where is the drop down is somewhere here. But I want this drop down exactly below the courses. So how you make the drop down exactly under the courses is uh, the parent. So the complete parent for the drop down and your anchor tag is going to be the ally. So this parent you can give another class called drop down. So if you give a drop down class for the parents uh, uh, almost top parents if you give that see these two belongs to the drop down okay is a parent if you give the drop down the so uh, it is gonna come only for this under the courses let's check if i click on this yes exactly under the courses fine and next uh, i don't want this background color i'll change it uh, i'll change to uh, bg danger red color okay fine uh, next when i click on this yes i got a drop down 
but one small issue is uh, when i hover on this each uh, drop down item there is no background color just very uh, light color is there if you want to change that you can do it you can do customization uh, how you do the customization for this is um, that is see this link is nothing but drop down item so whenever you hover on the drop down item i want to change the background color so my plan is i'll just take the class drop down item i will go to the styles i write style tag dot drop down item colon hover okay i give the background color let me give some combination of colors background linear gradient some 45 degrees comma black or dark slate gray dark slate gray and the red color okay looks good now check when i keep a cursor yes i gonna get this combination of color but thing is color i want to be white because it's not visible in this blackish uh, you can just say color white check it out oh it's not applied maybe it is overridden from the bootstrap styles if 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 you face this type of issue even though you apply the class uh, it's not given the colors it's not apply the colors you can do one shortcut is you can make h important if i give white important so this is going to be get the more priority than the bootstrap styles so if you add this important now check yes you are going to get this one fine and one last thing is uh, this nav bar okay looks good but thing is uh, around this nav bar there is no space at all let me give some space better you give a space uh, a margin for this nav bar or else uh, you can give some padding for the whole box that's better give the padding padding for the whole box a whole box is means that's your uh, drop down menu so drop down menu i'll give the p two all the sides padding to all the sides if you give two all the sides you will get a gap inside yes so you get a padding to all the sides and this now looks good okay and one last thing i want to give some nice box shadow when i keep a cursor okay so for the hover effects you want to get the box shadow so one last thing let me give some box shadow 0 5 pixels and the 5 pixels um um reddish if you want reddish you can take reddish so now check yes you get some reddish color if you don't want this then better uh, i go with something called some gray color okay around some five pixels enough gray color now check yes you get some gray color shade okay so this how you can make an amber and even you can test with uh, responsive so let me check is already responsive and uh, here you click on this yes i have an arbor and uh, when i reduce mobile screen yes i have a nav with the drop down okay so expand it like this fine so this is an example of nav bar with the drop down i hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel and we'll meet in the next video for the next concept thank you mm -hmm.